Before the British occupation of Melbourne, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation occupied the Bararang, or Yarra River Valley. John Batman, the Australian-born son of a New South Wales convict, who gained fame in Tasmania by capturing bush ranger Matthew Brady, set his eyes on a Port Phillip exploration. In the 9th of May 1835 Batman's Port Phillip exploration trip commenced when his ship Rebecca was cleared to sail from Launceston with two crew, five white servants, and seven New South Wales Aborigines. Batman bought 600,000 acres around Melbourne from Aborigines in exchange for scissors, blankets, knives and other goods. Batman's treaty was later annulled by New South Wales Governor. Shortly after Batman returned to Launceston, after his Port Phillip exploration, under the directive of John Pascoe Faulkner, his ship Enterprise sailed for Port Phillip. The settlers arrived aboard, Schooner Enterprise, from the British Crown Colony of Van Diemen's Land, which is today's Tasmania, on 30 August 1835. They landed on the bank of the Yarra River and established the first permanent settlement. Many suggestions were seriously considered for naming Melbourne. Some of the name considered were the Van Diemonians, Bear Pert, Bear Burp, Bear Berry, Bear Port, Bear Heap, Bear Brass, Doutagala, Jutagala, Glenelg, Batmania, and Naramnu. Melbourne might have been given any one of four names. The Van Diemonians, Batmania, Bear Brass, and Glenelg. All these were discarded for Melbourne, in honour of the then Prime Minister of Great Britain, William Lamb, 2nd Viscount Melbourne, usually addressed as Lord Melbourne, whose seat was Melbourne Hall in the market town of Melbourne in Derbyshire. Lord Melbourne's family name was Lamb, and he took his title from the small town of Melbourne in Derbyshire, where he lived at the family home of Melbourne Hall. Then New South Wales Governor, Sir Richard Book, visiting Melbourne in March, 1837, bestowed the name Melbourne. Queen Victoria, in June, 1847, appointing Charles Perry as bishop, turned it into a city. Her act was finally and legally endorsed by the passing of an Act of Council in August, 1849. What is the meaning of the word Melbourne? Now we know Melbourne is a small town in the English Midlands. Let us see what does the word Melbourne mean. We are going to examine how the little English town got the name Melbourne. The Kingdom of Mercia was a state in the English Midlands from the 6th century to the 10th century. It was the most powerful of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Ostrith, the wife of Ethelred King of Mercia from 675 AD to 704 AD was murdered by nobles. A stone cross was erected by a brookside, small stream, to mark the spot where the tragedy took place. Shortly afterwards a church was erected by the king nearby. The town which eventually developed around it was called Melbourne. To be precise, Mile, burn, which meant, the cross beside the brook. Now you know the meaning of the word Melbourne. It means, the cross beside the small stream. The city was named after Lord Melbourne, so, who was, Lord Melbourne. Lord Melbourne served as British Home Secretary from 1830 to 1834 and Prime Minister from 1834 to 1841. He was the mentor of young Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria considered him as a father figure. Though Queen Victoria had a special liking from him, Lord Melbourne was very much an uninspiring man. But he was kind, honest and not self-seeking. Some of the qualities the great city of Melbourne enunciates. On July 2, 1837, Queen Victoria wrote in her diary about Lord Melbourne, he is truly a most straightforward, honest and noble-minded man, and I esteem myself most fortunate to have such a man at the head of government. There were also rumours that Queen Victoria was romantically involved with Lord Melbourne, who was 50 years her senior. On the physical side, Lord Melbourne was overweight and had a habit of falling asleep in public and snoring heavily when he did. Lord Melbourne was a man of many sex scandals to his credit too,